All right. Hi, everybody. This is Chloe, and I'm one of the interns here for Youth Awards, and this year's our 40th anniversary, and we have Miss Lisa Campbell here, and she's going to tell us a little bit about your, herself. So why don't you start off with um, where you're from and what you do? Hi, I am Lisa Campbell, and I am from the great state of Mississippi. I am the coordinator for uh, energy education and workforce development here in our state. That's awesome. So why don't you tell me a little bit about um, what you do personally or what, tell me about the Mississippi Development Authority. And okay, Mississippi Development Authority is the, so we're, we're the state energy office, offices house here. Mississippi Development Authority is the economic development agency for the state. It's made up of 13 different divisions. We work on the auspice of the Department of Energy. So my primary job is to spread the good news of energy education throughout our state. Uh, trying to lower our consumption and increase our efficiency. That's awesome. So tell me, how did you get involved with NEED? Well, I was actually hired uh, 16 years ago, and I was tasked with the job of teaching students and teachers about energy education. And NEED is the vehicle in which we use to get our foot in the door of the school by adequately having materials that we can train teachers. That's awesome. So what kind of things have you done with NEED in the past or projects or activities? Our relationship with NEED stems back to before my days here at the Energy <laughs> Office, okay? When I got here, NEED was already on the scene. The office had been in partnership with NEED since the late 80s. So we have the youth, aboard, youth awards. We have trained thousands of teachers throughout the state. We did projects. Uh, I just can't think of one activity that I do on a daily basis where I'm engaging students or teachers that I don't use a piece of material, something I've gained from me. That's awesome. So do you remember your first Youth Awards that you attended? I do. And how I long do. ago was that? 2004, I believe. 2003, 2004. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was young then. <laughs> And I think I was more excited and had more fun than the students, okay? So I was like 26 years old when I got here. I grew up in energy. I grew up with need. That's awesome. What would you say is your favorite part about Youth Awards Weekend? The fellowship. It's always good to see others in states, your, my counterparts, actually making energy education a priority and making it happen in their state. So I like to hear, you know, face-to-face conversations to see what they're doing, how they're able to do it so that I can come back and do more here in our own state. That's awesome. So when you come to DC, what would you say is your favorite place or monument to visit? Oh, so many. I love to go on the night tours, uh, but the Korean monument I think is m my favorite. I just think it's absolutely beautiful in the rain, at night, early in the morning. That's awesome. So now what made you choose to go into the career field that you're in? Well, I like to say that it chose me. I was actually in the classroom uh, working with uh, kids who were at you know, daycare under five age before they got to preschool. And this lady walked in who is now my supervisor um, 10 years ago. And uh, she did not know that I was in grad school and about to graduate and she was like, uh, you have a job? And I'm like, oh, yes, I have a job already. She was like, I just had a job that would be perfect for you. So I thought I was going to be working in mental health. Long story short, that was not for me. <laughs> I came back and I was like, you remember that job you said you had for me? And she said, yes, I want you to do just what you're doing. I want you to teach children about energy education across our state. And I was like, I can do that. And then I was an English major with a master's in counseling. So I was like, okay, so can you bring me some information about energy talk and understand exactly what I'm going to be teaching? <laughs> so she did. She brought me all kinds of pamphlets and books and everything. And so I brushed up on that and I, I did well enough to land one interview, two interviews, and they hired me on. And I've been trying to prove myself every year since. That's so amazing. I, it is. And I always say again, when I say I grew up in need, uh, Karen Rager, uh, yep. she, Sherelle Dawson, Sherelle was in Tennessee um, 10 years ago, Ann and Ramona. So they, they're all like my mothers because I was a younger one coming on board and they really <laughs> shadowed me. 
and how to do my very first kit prepare presentations uh karen gave to me that's <laughs> awesome yeah i think uh, those materials we don't even use them anymore but uh, <laughs> i still have them that's amazing yeah i actually just met karen a few years ago so that's funny okay. that i've known her since then i think what is she from kentucky or tennessee now or yes. Tennessee by way of Kentucky. So yes, originally she was born and raised in Memphis and oh. uh, now and moved to Tennessee. I mean, we'll move to Kentucky. Well, it sounds like you're a jack of all trades if you got all of those <laughs> well, degrees. I don't know about that. I try to make it happen, girl. And, and I guess that's the other thing. I sing the praises of me all the time because I wouldn't be able to do my job if it was not for the administrative support that we get from need. Every time I pick up the phone call and I'm in need of something, I want to try something again, Mira's like talking to a sister. She'd be like, okay, girl, we can do that. We can make it happen. It's like talking to your girlfriend, okay? <laughs> oh, for oh. sure. Mary's the queen of making it happen. Anything hey, that you've yeah, done, she, she gets done. <laughs> yeah, she is. That's amazing. So have you ever thought about um, taking it to a grander plan, doing it on a federal level? Well, I haven't, and I haven't, uh, not to say there are not opportunities there, but it seems like I have so much work to do here. Right. I like that. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, thanks for so much for popping on here and talking to me about a little bit about what you do. That's awesome. Um, hopefully everyone out there will get a chance to watch this and see that. Um, yes. And well, I appreciate you having me, and I'm, I'm just so excited about us having 40 years of need. I'm excited to see where needs are gonna go. There is absolutely no one in the business of energy education that can top and do what need does as well as it does. So mm -hmm. I'm happy to be an advocate for need. I get excited about motivating our teachers and, and just knowing that what they what need provides for them, they can't get out of a textbook, you know. For sure. And, and I can stand back and really watch them pave the way with our youth. And I'm excited about that. I'm looking forward to another 40 years. For so sure, I know. <laughs> I know, I can't believe it's already been 40 years. I'm excited. I'm supposed to be turning it up in DC, okay, Corona? Yeah, for real. <laughs> I know, I'm like, I'm ready for it to be over. So hopefully soon. I mean, things yeah, are good to open back up. So. I didn't get to New Mexico. I was ready, girl. <laughs> I was looking at my calendar. I was like, nope, that trip canceled too. <laughs> I know, hopefully next year. I'm hoping next year when we... Uh, do the 41st anniversary that will make it we'll make it super grand and do it over the top that way i'm sure i'm sure and so now you went to alabama yes ma'am <laughs> oh very good very good and roll tide <laughs> roll tide that's right roll tide i know most people well my my whole family is we're actually Ole Miss fans but i didn't want to go there so yeah i chose i chose the outlaw i'm gonna outlaw. shut up now <laughs> Now, where did you go to school at? I went to a small university, Mississippi Valley State University, oh. and then I went to grad school at Jackson State University. That's how I ended up here in the capital. I was actually here in school. Nice, nice. So where, where are you from? You said yeah, you're from uh, a little bit outside of Oxford originally? Yes, in Batesfield. Sardis is a town right outside of Oxford. <laughs> and you like you liked growing up in Mississippi? I loved it. That's all I know. It's home. <laughs> it was home. I love it. I love that. I know. I love the South and never want to go anywhere else. <laughs> That's right. And I, 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 we're growing. I'm excited about where we're going and where I hope we will be. For real. Well, thank you so much again for telling me about yourself. That's awesome. And um, I hope I get to see you in person next year and yes. look forward to working with you a little bit more in the future. And thanks again. <laughs> uh, thank you. I appreciate you contacting me again. And I hope you have a great time. I know you're going to have a ball there. And I know they're taking care of you. Oh, yes, ma'am, they are. <laughs>